Hey, Wayne here with the Gen 3 foldable e-bike in the trunk of my car called the Groove. Let's go for a ride. Yeah. Hey, Wayne here, and today I have the Gen 3 The Groove foldable bike. Real excited about this. I asked them to send me the bike, and they agreed. Um, originally, I was asking them for a scooter, because they're coming out with scooters, which will be available soon, not quite yet. But in the meantime, they sent me the bike to check out. So let's get this opened up and set up and see how we like it. So in this little box that it comes with, it came with uh, some pedals, a tool kit. Yeah, this is a tool bag right here. A rear, oh, that, that's I think a reflector. And that's probably the power charger. Yes, and that would be the charger. Yeah, look at wow, that. Wow, that's really So I nice. didn't even know what color they were going to send. I was kind of hoping for a black one, and that's what I got. So they have a black and a white. So this one looks pretty darn nice, though, doesn't that it? That does look really nice. That it's looks not even pretty put cool. put together yet. That's cool. Yeah. All right, so there's okay. the handlebar. Nice. Oh, yeah, this feels good. Yeah. Nice. Look at that, Gen 3. I like the way that looks. Here's a short list of parts that make up the groove. For a complete detailed list, go to gen3ride.com. It has a 6061 double butted aluminum frame, a powerful Bafang 500 watt motor, powered by a 660 watt battery. It has both front and rear lights front 180 and rear 160 disc brakes. Both front and rear brake levers have auto sensing. It has a KMC C series chain, a Shimano Turney seven speed derailleur, and a Shimano seven speed shifter. 17 inch 50 millimeter stroke suspension with lock and adjustment controls. For the last two weeks straight, I've been riding nothing but this Gen 3 bike that they call the Groove. It's a foldable e-bike. It's so much freaking fun. I fold it up, I throw it in the trunk of my car, I took it down to uh, West LA, went riding, I let one of my friends ride it, I fell on it. I've taken it into dirt trails, you can see all the dirt on it. Uh, when I fell, it was my fault. I was trying to film something and I did a slide and I overcompensated when I tried to stand back up to uh, face the camera <laughs> and I flew over. So I'll show you that video too. <laughs> oh, I knew it was gonna happen eventually. The best part was when he fell. <laughs> Falling was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go over how you how you use it. So what you do is you come over here when you first get on, and um, if you have it unlocked, which is where it is right now, that means you could lift this handle and take the battery off. You could charge it on the bike, or you could just take the battery off and go charge it in the house. So when you're ready to ride, though switch this over to on position, take the key out, make sure to check your battery, it's full, and then come over here and turn on the controller. So you press and hold the M button for about a second and a half, it comes on. Now if you want to see it better or you want to turn on your headlight, press and hold the plus button and the computer lights up and the headlight turns on. So, and it's a pretty nice bright uh, light. So that, that'll be good. 
to go through your speed settings or your mode settings, you got uh, speed one, push the plus button, two, three, four, and five. So now that's top speed, that'll get you up to about 20 miles per hour, which is uh, the legal limit on these bikes, at least here in California. Push the minus button to take it back down. Four, three, two, one, or all the way down to nothing. Now, if you're walking up a hill and you're not riding it and you're walking it and you want some assistance, press and hold the minus button while you walk with the bike and it will power up and slowly uh, move forward. So it'll assist you in walking. I wouldn't do it if you're sitting on the bike. It's uh, not recommended. It's better if you're actually off the bike and walking with it. So then that will help, that'll assist. There's some other settings here. If I push the M button, the mode button, it'll change from odometer to trip, to trip mile, and then back. There's some other settings in here that you'll wanna look through the uh, owner's manual or online, but uh, there's some other settings here like you can set up a password to lock this so that it doesn't come on unless you put your password in. Um, I haven't done it, so. I don't know if I'll use that or not, but I uh, thought I'd mention it to you. I just got set up on this Gen 3 e-bike by uh, Spider Wayne. And I gotta tell you, so far, it's absolutely superb. I thought it would be kind of small for me because I'm six foot three. And um, I, I, with a, I thought it would be too small for my uh, frame and my arms and legs, but we took it out of the back of his car and we were able to, in three clicks, essentially set the bike up. Hey there. And it's working like a dream. Hi there. Yeah, this, I could not have made that hill with a regular unassisted pedal bike. I think I would have had to get out and push. In fact, I know I would because I've ridden this trail before on a regular unassisted bike. This is great. <laughs> I think people are saying hi to me because they see the smile on my face as I'm uh, driving by them. This is absolutely superb. So that's good. That was important to me. I, I didn't want to lose the ability to enjoy the experience that you get when you're riding around building up a sweat um, on a regular pedal bike. But I see I can still do that on this. Okay, I'm all the way up at level five assist. That's the maximum. And it feels like a really zippy Gen 3 experience. <laughs> oh yeah. This is making me smile. Hey, so if you couldn't already tell by the video, I love this bike. My buddy loves this bike. He's six foot three, tall guy. Works great for him. So if you're tall, you know this will work for you. It's easy to take anywhere you, you like. You can fold it up, throw it in your car, throw it in your trunk. Um, it's fast, has a lot of torque. Easy to set up, easy to move around, easy to just go out and have a lot of fun. So. I really like this bike, it's a lot of fun. If you want one, go to gen3ride.com and check out this bike called The Groove or check out one of their other e-bikes or scooters. They have a couple scooters there too now. So check it out, it's a lot of fun. Get out and ride and I'll see you later.